Okay, of course, now that we have the machine open, you'll want to see it go. So we're going to run the Tide washing machine cleaner over here. And uh, we'll run that. I don't really have too much to wash today. Uh, the machine is back in its factory config. We're going to do hot water, as you should, uh, with this stuff, with the hot enable. And then when it comes time for rinse, I'm going to short that and we'll see if we can make it do a warm rinse. We may have to stop it depending, you know, but uh, we'll get it going. So let's start the machine up and uh, then you can see everything wash. Right in the home stretch, we have the cleaner in already. That's why the water's kind of bluey. Greenish blue. Let's just start aggulating any moment. There we go. There's the air bubbles. I don't know if the camera's picking that up too well. So here, you know what we're down here. Same difference. Same difference? Okay. Yeah, you can see them now. See if the drain hose there has changed temperature at all. Oh, yeah, let's see. Uh, it, it, it's just warm. It's but barely the, warm, this bottom yeah. one is uh, pretty cool still, so yeah, I guess there must be an air pocket in there that stops it from going yeah. down. And also, now that everything is still back factory, this just filled up, and it's warm to the point of almost, almost hot now. It, so it seems like it was cooler when we had it frozen. Yeah, it almost seems that way, yeah. Interesting. Unless we somehow damaged it, but I don't know. I mean, it's working for now. Oh, spraying things. Yeah, that, that is unavoidable. All right, guys, now we have video here from the underside. Um, there's the drain pump, and you can see the bubbles going, sort of, up through there. And there's, uh, the focuses. There's the, um, looking through the camera here. It, it, there's the transmission back there. This, uh, this, uh, I can't. The, um, let's see. Look into the camera here, sorry. Yeah, th th there's the motor. W w see the two uh, copper coils? Then behind that plate, that's the transmission right there. Yeah, you can see it. And there's the, uh, that shiny piece you see right there is the spin clutch. And as you can see, it's doing nothing right now because the machine is agitating. And yeah, that, that spin clutch still looks brand spanking new from here. So this machine is very well built, definitely. And transmission, yeah, there you see the transmission back there. There it is. Um, this machine has the more flexible hoses compared to the uh, 1994 machine on the left. Oh, there you go, now you got a better shot, yeah. The shiny thing is the spin clutch that's on top, and below that is the uh, cover for the transmission. And then below the cover is the uh, transmission body. So there you go. And there's the motor. The fan inside is going, not sure if you can see that. And here's the drain pump. Very nice design overall. We just went into low speed aggulation. Doing exactly what it's supposed to. It has no idea that, that the cabinet's missing. Nope. Not a clue. No sensors. Yeah. No locks. Exactly. No control panels. And even with the somewhat electronic bullshit. And there is a little circuit board in that thing. Oh yeah, and the auto temperature control? Oh yeah. Yeah, we still circumvented it and it didn't pop and fusing and blowing sparks in. Exactly. <laughs> Okay guys, the machine just finished its um, its um, wash agitation, so I just shut the timer off to pause the machine. So what I'm going to do is it's about to go into neutral drain, and as you can see I have the drop light on down there. I'm going to try to show you what happens down there when it goes into drain. Normally you don't see much, but sometimes the spin clutch just jerks forward a little bit just because of there's free movement in the brake cam. I'll keep it simple and just leave it at that for now. So um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go, we'll go down there, and I'll turn the timer back on, go down there and see if I can catch anything for you. So here we go. There's a spin clutch.
Oh, it didn't move much, actually. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but the hoses are jiggling a little bit. And the water's going down. There it is, you can kind of see it. The hoses are shaking a little bit. Hold on a second, guys, sorry. There we go. Just laying on the cord and that was hurting me a little bit. Yeah, that, that's what happens when it's in uh, neutral. Water level's still going down. It's kind of hard for me to show you, it doesn't want to focus. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, you can see it going down right there. This angle when it goes to spin, so you can see the spin clutch go. Water's just about empty out. Oh, you got to see it jerk forward a little bit. I'm glad I caught that. And now um, it'll go into spin, and then um, we'll get to see this. The spin clutch it itself will go full speed. The tub is what picks up. There it goes. See, all of these shake and vibrate during spin, but they just work beautifully. The spin clutch is going now. And there it is. Tub is now in spin. Okay, now the machine is refilling for rinse and it's on a warm rinse. The official test of the warm rinse. This has cooled down completely. So uh, the warmth from before was good. It's cooled down now. We'll see once it refills if it gets warm again. And the water is indeed warm. Yes, indeed. All right, getting close to the top now. This is, without clothes, it's very first warm rinse ever. So, very nice. Very first warm rinse we'll ever do. And it'll do a warm spray rinse too, provided we can keep the cat the, this away from when the tub shakes a little bit, but we'll see. There it goes, it's very first warm rinse agitation. What a, what a memory in time, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too many bubbles from the drain pump. I think there's more when either the water is hot, well no, the water was hot before. I think when there's detergent in the uh, water, that's when you see the most bubbles come out of the drain pump. Yeah, you'll definitely see all the yeah. spins then. But so far, so good. Because when you aerate it, when you aerate soapy water, then you get- Oh bubbles. yeah, you do. It's like if anybody has a jetted tub or anything like that, and you put soap in there, you know the bubbles fucking... Yeah, up to the up ceiling. The ceiling. <laughs> hey, you have your own suds lock. That's right. <laughs> that cleaner really fucking did something. Look at all that fucking jetsam and flotsam in there. Yes, in that order. I think a lot of that is mollusk. Bro. Okay, probes are in. Warm spray rinse. I wonder what that'll do with all the shit in there. Uh, we'll find out. Yes, we will in just a moment. Clang, pang, pang. Damn! Well, that's much stronger. Wow. Did 
you actually hear the timer click? Yeah, I did. I don't think I've ever heard that You know before. why? Because we have the panel up, I think. So it's Yeah, I know. I guess it. you hear it more. The probes are shaking a little bit, but if they're in there tight, it should be okay. Well, as soon as it does the second one, I can yank it. Yeah. short against the cabinet that would have been a bad thing oh yeah that would have been a bad thing anyway we're going to close the machine back up and again sometime in the future we will do the uh warm rinse addition to it with the switch and that um, again we don't have to pull the cabinet for that everything of course inside checks out as sharky had shown you and uh everything looks great so thank you very much for watching you know the drill like subscribe Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.